an unsuspected treasure surrounding Rio. Underneath these 15,000 hectares of mangroves, nearly 7 million tonnes of CO2 are stored, the largest concentration of carbon credits ever calculated, thanks to Felipe Chavez and his team. Mangroves grow in this region on the shores of lakes. Sometimes they advance even further in the water. But we're going to stay here to study them. Using the latest generation laser, the biologist calculates the biomass of each tree from crown to root. It's in these sediments that the greatest quantity of carbon is concentrated. In the existing market, one tonne of this CO2 is equivalent to five euros of credit. The potential is such that it's attracted the attention of many of the region's major oil companies in search of redemption. Thanks to the work we've done in the mangroves, we've been able to calculate very precisely the amount of carbon retained. When we look at this mangrove forest and its incredible potential, it's obvious that we're exposing it to the risk of it being turned into a kind of currency for polluting. By turning nature into a carbon credit, we're inserting it into a market logic. According to experts, Brazil could generate 5 billion euros a year in carbon credits, not to mention millions of jobs potentially generated by forest and wildlife protection projects. But how can the financial windfall also be guaranteed to benefit local communities? How can it be prevented from becoming a right to pollute? In Brasilia, the Secretary for the Green Economy had to play a balancing act when drafting the bill. It's written that indigenous peoples and traditional communities through their representative authorities will have a say in the distribution of carbon credits sold on their territories. Companies emitting more than 25,000 tonnes of carbon per year will be regulated by a national control body, while those emitting between 10 and 25,000 tonnes will be obliged to communicate their annual carbon emissions. Those who do not want to follow the rules imposed by the state and who don't adapt to the new ways of producing will no longer find customers to buy their products. They will be out of the market. The bill to regulate carbon credits has been approved by Parliament. The vote will take place shortly in the Senate.